CUET UG 2022 to begin on July 15th. Registration and collection window open from June 23rd to 24th. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister advises toppers to include newspapers in their daily routine. Delhi University to conduct second phase of internal exams for students who missed papers in May and June. 98.10% placement rate recorded by IIIT Delhi campus. UPSC CSC prelims 2022 results declared. Good afternoon and a warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network where we get you the latest developments in education at the top of the hour. This is Nitya and this is Akshita reporting from ENN and the daily stories are The National Testing Agency will be conducting the common university entrance test from July 15th onwards at different centres located in 554 cities across India and 13 cities outside India. The exam will be conducted on July 15th, 16th, 19th, 20th and August 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and 10th. The candidates can take the computer-based test in any of the 13 mediums being offered and select any combination out of 33 languages and 27 unique subjects. As per data, one candidate has applied to more than five universities on an average and there are more than 54,000 unique combinations of subjects chosen by various candidates. As of now, 9,50,804 candidates have registered for admission into 86 universities, out of which there are 43 central universities, 13 state universities, 12 deemed universities and 18 private universities. Since this is the only exam for entry into central university system, that is UG courses, the CUET registration is once again being opened for one last time on the demand of the candidates. The CUET registration and application window would be open from June 23rd, 9 a.m. to June 24th, 11.50 p.m. All candidates interested in applying can visit the website cuet.samarth.ac.in and complete the application process. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath on Wednesday advised the UP board toppers to inculcate the habit of reading newspapers. During an interaction with the meritorious students in Lucknow, he said reading newspapers regularly enhances one's general awareness, advising the students to develop a habit of reading books and visiting libraries. Yogi said, students must look beyond textbooks and remain updated about the developments in their country and the world. For this, newspapers are a good medium. Reading the newspaper should be a part of a daily routine. He further added, the edit pages of newspapers are full of opinions about current events and subjects. Going through different opinions and analyses will help you form your own view about a subject. This will also help you in competitive examinations. Yogi also encouraged students to follow a timetable. Time management is very important. Early to bed and early to rise is a perfect mantra for a healthy mind and body. Children must also understand that there is no substitute to hard work, he said. The University of Delhi has announced that it will conduct a second phase of the internal examinations for the students of the undergraduate and postgraduate courses who were unable to attempt the paper due to the COVID-19 pandemic and other reasons. The notice issued by the university on Tuesday states that the registration for the examination will commence from June 29, 2022. Delhi University had conducted the previous round of physical mode of examination for all the undergraduate and postgraduate programs in May and June. D.S. Rawat, the Dean of Examination, said the attendance was around 97% during the examination. Only a few students have been given the examination due to various reasons. The working group of the examinations has decided to conduct the second phase of examination. In the case of students of the School of Open Learning, separate provision will be made for registration by SOL, the varsity stated. Indaprastha Institute of Information Technology Delhi has announced that it has exceeded the campus requirement record for its current batch of students with a placement rate of 98.10%. During the campus placement, the institute hosted 140 companies, among which 108 offered competitive salaries ranging between Rs. 11 lakh and 47 lakh per annum. Several national and international companies such as Microsoft, LinkedIn, American Express, Goldman Sachs, Amazon and Adobe participated in the placement drive, as said by the institute in the statement. The statement read, the overall on-campus placement rate of the 2022 batches was an impressive 98.10% with, with the average comp compensation of Rs 19.72 lakh and medium of Rs 16.50 lakh. 
The highest compensation offered for a placement in India was Rs 47 lakh per annum and for overseas placement, the highest pay package was a whopping Rs 1.84 crore and the second highest being Rs 54.83 lakh. The average salary package for the computer science and engineering batch was also an impressive figure of Rs 24.34 lakh. The placement this year will be carried out in all three models, physical, hybrid and virtual, on the basis of the hiring company's requirements. The Union Public Service Commission declared the results of Civil Services Preliminary Examination 2022 on its official website of UPSC at upsc.gov.in yesterday. The examination was held on June 5th. Candidates who have passed the preliminary examination have qualified for Civil Services Main Examination 2022. They will have to apply online again in a detailed application form which will be provided in due course. The dates and important instructions for filling up of the DAF1 and its submission will be announced on the UPSC website. The candidature of these candidates who have qualified for the mains is provisional at this stage. The marks, cut-off marks and answer keys of Civil Services Prelims 2022 will be uploaded on UPSC website only after the declaration of final result of UPSC. The UPSC Civil Services exam is held in two successive stages. Preliminary, objective type for the selection of candidates for the main examination. Civil Services main examination, written and interview for the selection of candidates for the various services and posts. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, theann.com. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Signing off, this is Nitya. And this is Akshita.